Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. One of my viewers asked me in my recent video, what is the best size 5 torpedo? I actually made a video about my favorite size 5 torpedo in 3.18 just before the 3.19 release. And because of all the new ships and vehicle in 3.19, so that video almost got postponed indefinitely. Even though some of the information in that video is a bit outdated because it was recorded in 3.18 but there is still a lot of useful information in that video so i am going to release that video and together with this one to give you a more comprehensive guide to the size 5 torpedo in 3.19 and the name of that video is called scimitar hammerhead is powerful and fun actually it's called scimitar hammerhead is powerful and fun yes because you will be hearing me saying scimitar a lot in that video for some unknown reason and yes scimitar 5 is my most favorite size 5 torpedo in game and these two videos will tell you the reason why this video right now is being recorded in 3.19 and guess what we have the ability in 3.19 to detach and attach weapons and missiles first thing first i am going to show you how to have a chain of supply for the size 5 torpedoes for your hammerhead but first of all you have to go to your vehicle loadout manager to change all your missile racks and put scimitar on it and then you can have a supply chain for those size 5 torpedoes for your hammerhead in the battlefield. Let's go see how this is done. Okay, in order to do this, you must have, I think it's best to have at least two person or two computers. All right, I am going to get out of my pilot seat and I'm going to put the captain on the pilot seat. You need someone at the pilot seat to keep the uh, torpedo port open. If you don't have anyone sitting in the pilot seat, once you open the uh, missile port and then you leave the seat, the missile port will automatically close. And also, it is also very important. Once you pull those uh, size 5 torpedo out, you need to do a repair rearm so you can get more torpedoes back. Okay, so you get your Pisces. Uh, I do prefer either Pisces or Pisces Expedition. Don't use uh, the medical Pisces. I'm not getting out of pilot seat. Oh, are we getting a 30k? Yeah, we're getting a 30k. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next server. All right, guys. So we're back from uh, 30k. And apparently the 30k protection works now. So I don't have to reclaim this hammer hat, which is really good. Because making a video 30k after 30k, that just too much sometimes. But uh, I am persistent. And you probably know, <laughs> no matter how many 30Ks hit, as long as I can log in, I will be recording. All right, so uh, missiles port unlocked. And here are those two missiles ports. So that's why I'm saying you will need someone at the pilot seat to manually hold the missile port open. There we go. As you can see, you have two missile port over here at the bottom for the hammer hat. And those two size 5 torpedoes cannot be detached. There are also two torpedo ports on top of the hammerhead, which can be detached. Let's go have a look. That's why you need a Pisces. Okay. Oh, the wind might not be safe. Yep, we just need to hover. We can get back in. Okay, good. So, track the beam out. Let's try these two. There we go. See? Scimitar, fi Scimitar 5. <laughs> All right, and there are also two Scimitar 5 over here. That's where you can detach them. And then you can, this is where whatever way that fits for you. You can put them on your, uh, you can throw them on the ground and then put them uh, into different ships. But I'm just going to put them uh, on my Pisces over here. Put it back. There we go. You see, put it back is really easy. And then let's put it back in this one. You just sometimes you just have to uh, rotate a little bit. There we go. Oops. You have to actually roll it on a surface. Here. There we go. See? Very easy. Scimitar is a size 5 missile for the ballista. But uh, ballista, you can not remove those scimitars as well. So only the hammerhead and only these four 
scimitars that you can detach and attach. And uh, that's why you can build a supply chain for the scimitar 5 for your hammerhead. So after you uh, detach all of them, someone sitting in the pilot seat will have to hit F1 and then do a quick rearm. Let's see how much. 1,872. So captain's rearming for us. There we go. See? Magic. There are many possibilities for the hammerhead if you uh, put scimitar or size 5 torpedoes on it. With this 4 torpedo that you can remove, you can have gunners and you can have uh, people to supply. This is truly a multi-crew ship. And you can have people who are doing the torpedo supplies or even missile supplies if you use different missiles for that. But uh, wow, look at this. Oh, the Pisces. <laughs> Holy moly, this looks powerful. Crazy. Okay, let's go down. Ooh, look at the, <laughs> the scimitar's head. Wow, look at these scimitars here. Okay, I am going to load them over here. Okay, so that's our eight scimitar here. Let's uh, go up. Just make sure that uh, the cargo area can hold these torpedoes. Ooh, look at this. Okay, they are okay. We can have tw uh, 20 scimitars on both left and right together. And then we can put a little bit more. But the thing is, if you watch my previous video, there is a limit. I don't know. Uh, this one, I could not find any note from officially from the CIG. But in one area, you can only put 25 missiles or torpedoes. Any more, they will despawn. I think this is uh, the PES optimization at work. I'm not so sure, but uh, we can try that. All right, let's uh, go up. So this time I am going to try to uh, throw the scimitar missile torpedo outside over there. So we can uh, get more. Oh, it's not rearmed. Let's rearm it. There we go. So you either can have a Pisces over here or someone can go down there. And... Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh my. Okay, let's do on this side as well. On each side, we have 10 scimitars on the ground. Let's check over here. Yes, there we go. All right, let's uh, get down. Okay, so let's load our scimitars into the cargo area in the back. So that's 10 scimitars here. Let's just uh, load 10 and then we have another 10 over there. There we go. So here are 10 scimitars, the left side. I think this way is the safest, the most stable way to put them. Okay, 18 scimitars. Let's load more. This is really nice. You, you're actually making this hammerhead into a torpedo boat. Not just 8 torpedoes on the hammerhead, but you can supply it was a lot more this is cool i really like this gameplay this is my first time trying it so we'll see how it works let's load first and then we'll bring it to combat okay so another 10 scimitar loaded let's go ah okay so as you can see uh i think we put 10 scimitars here once we brought these scimitars here two of them disappeared so there is a limit for the scimitars, for how many you can load in one area. Okay, so I've loaded everything, and let's count how many. I think we took out 28 scimitars from the missile port. So we have 10 over here, and uh, we have another 10 over here. So that's 20. On this pad, we have 5 scimitars, so exactly 25. That confirms it again, so you can only have 25 missiles. In a certain area. I don't know how big the range. I mean the area of the certain area is. Uh, you know what? Let's test it. So we cannot have unlimited scimitars. You cannot fill the whole ship. With uh, <laughs> torpedoes. But this looks cool. Look at this. Wow. 10. 20. 25 scimitars here. And then we still have a whole cargo area you can put a uh, ursa rover or links here very nice
Wow, that's uh, that's eight scimitars in the front airlock of the hammerhead. That's crazy. Okay, so we loaded eight scimitars here. Let's go check our cargo area, see if we still have that 25 scimitars. Let's go. We have to uh, jump. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's check. Oh, okay. You see? Uh, they disappeared. See here, we disappeared one, actually two. We have eight over here. And we have nine over here, 17. So plus eight, exactly 25. So this hammer hat, at most, you can carry extra 25 size five torpedoes. Yes, we've tested. All right, combat time. Let's go. Also, before this video, I encountered a error that prevent me from entering into game menu. So I did a character reset, I mean a character repair. So I have to redo all my certification all the way to ERT and group ERT, and I don't have them. So let's go ahead and just do these uh, permits one after another. Let's test it from the beginning. So after five minutes, I accept the mission, but the mission does not appear on my mission tab. So I can't do anything and I don't have any other bounty hunting missions after the character reset. So I am going to store the ship and switch server. So it's also a good test to see if I store the ship when I call it again, will all those torpedoes be still on my ship after I get to a different server? All right, guys, so we are back to a different server and then we got the bounty hunting mission. Now let's check. We have them. Yes. See, our torpedoes are all here. Let's see if we can. Uh, there we go. We can use the tractor beam. Very nice. Good. Good. Let's go. Let's practice this uh, hammerhead torpedo supply chain, even with two people. Okay, so our first target is a Mastum Delta. Torpedo lock, fire. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. One hit. Light fighter. Well, somebody's uh, chasing us. Luckily, I have a gunner. All right, our second target is an M50 interceptor. This is going to be interesting. But luckily, our scimitar torpedoes lock range is 50 meters. Yes, that's crazy. But uh, if you fire those uh, scimitars at uh, close range, you have to expect the scimitar to make some sharp turns. Sometimes it will miss the target. I'm going to fire at... There we go, fired. Let's see how this thing is going to turn. It's making really sharp turns right now. Is it still tracking? I don't think so. I think it missed the target. Yes. All right. Let's uh, lock again. Wow, M15 interceptor is going to cost us a lot of torpedoes. Okay, locking. Fire! Let's see. <laughs> Don't think so. So let's just uh, destroy it with our guns. We waste two torpedoes on the <laughs> M50 alone. Okay. So we wasted two torpedoes on the M50 interceptors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these torpedoes do have a weakness. Alright, our third target is on Daymar. I really love this moon. It's so clear and pretty. Looks like we have a Gladius here. Torpedo ready. Not getting a lock yet. Miss a lock. Alright, fire. You. Well, I got something for you as well. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> wow, nice. All right, so this is our target number four. Journeyman license. Oh, so many missiles. 
Fire! Torpedo fire. Oh, we lost the uh, torpedo cam. So that is a hurricane. Oh, our torpedo got destroyed. Missile lock. We're gonna fire at close range. Fire. Ooh, let's see. It's going to uh, turn and track. Yep, missed the target. Right now we have a good firing angle, about four kilometers. Okay, fire. Oh, killed. killed. <laughs> One scimitar <laughs> destroyed a uh, hurricane. Nice. Okay, we have earned our journeyman trek license. We have only one scimitar left. Okay, let's do a quick reload. Let's go to an OM point. So same thing, you need someone sit at the helm in order to keep the missile mode open at all times so you can reload. And here is our torpedoes. We have eight of them here. Let's re reload from over here. And because we're in uh, zero G, so it's a lot easier for us to use a tractor beam. Oh, wait a second. My tractor beam attachment is gone. Wow. <laughs> All right, I need to go get some uh, attachment. Oh, it's here. What? <laughs> this saved us a trip. Wow, this game. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. Let's go to this uh, torpedo port. One. Two. Three. So, if you have two or three person doing this job, it will be a lot easier. Someone take the torpedo out and someone just tractor them. You take w one minute, I think. And all the tour gunners, actually, can do this. Can be the supply chain crew. There we go. Four. Done. All right, now we have five scimitars here. We have our target. This one is the advanced track license certification. This one will unlock your VHRT and we have a Valkyrie fire. Ooh, we have a reclaimer over here. All right. Ooh, look at that. I don't have to fire another one, I think, because its EM went down to 6,000, which means it's already disabled. This result showed in my previous video. If you watch it, you will see, oh, enemy destroyed. Yes, this one, this video is going, going just to show you the supply chain. Be sure to watch that one. One scimitar, you, we did not destroy the Valkyrie, but we disabled it and then it fell from atmosphere to the ground and killed itself. Nice. <laughs> VHRT unlocked. Okay, I think this is our seventh or eighth target and this is our master trike license certification. And we still have the majority of our ordinances on the hammerhead. So we're going to go against a hammerhead, but uh, you know what, let's do this. Let's destroy every single ship here. So we have four scimitars here. Let's uh, give it to the hammerhead, all of them. So we can lock the hammerhead around 14 kilometers. That's good because all the light fighters around the hammerhead will not be able to detect us and come to shoot us. All right, torpedo lock, fire. Wow, look at this. Yep, you keep cursing. Wow, you still can. There we go. That's our hammerhead. Oh, that's a hit. What happened? No way, it's EM went down to 5,000. I think we hit its uh, vital components. It's disabled. <laughs> You see, it's uh, hitting the ground. It's disabled. One scimitar. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's play with our food. 
Uh, let's destroy the rest of the fighters first. Alright, locking the Valkyrie. Fire. What? Hey, wh what is going on? <laughs> Go. Whoa. <laughs> He's like, hmm. I'm not done with lunch yet. Oh. Nice. Valkyrie is also disabled. Its EM went down to 6,000. Oh, completely disabled. Well, uh, I think we have another ship or just two. Oh, we have a warden. Okay. Locking on the warden. Fire. Please go this time. There we go. Warden. Warden is hit. Warden's... Oh, Warden is not destroyed yet. Our last scimitar I'm going to give to you. Fire. Oh! That is beautiful. Oops. Captain has been disconnected for being inactive for too long. We should have put Captain in the... <laughs> turret chair. This is a good salvage site, I can tell you. You have a Warden, you have Valkyrie, and you have a whole Hammerhead. Let's do some Hammerhead Huggies. You see, this, uh, it's turret. It's turret is trying to shoot me, but uh, it's completely disabled. I think the Hammerhead spawn with full shield on. Not like 3.18, they don't spawn with full shield. So even with full shield... We are still able to, I mean, we are lucky. That's a lucky shot. Because sometimes you do need a couple more uh, scimitars to disable a hammerhead. I guess uh, this one, we just hit a vital component. So it's uh, disabled like that. But I'm going to I have a pistol. I'm going to take out this guy first. Where is this guy? Oh, up yeah. What? Well, he's dead. This Valkyrie is dead, but uh, it's disabled. We can't use it at all. Oh! What the? It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna shoot you. He's scared. You have all these weapons you can take out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for this video. This is how to create the supply chain for the torpedoes in your hammerhead if you decide to turn your hammerhead into a torpedo boat. 3.19 has made it possible to achieve this. This is great. Uh, I am playing this game mostly by myself alone, but later on if I play with some people or if you play with a group or with your org, you can try this out. This is definitely more fun and more effective if you play with a whole crew. So you can supply the hammerhead in the battlefield for at least 25 more size 5 torpedoes. Also, this video plus my previous video, these two videos will show you why Scimitar is my favorite size 5 torpedo, which was recommended by Mr. V, by the way. I credit him in my previous video. And I hope these two videos answer your question if you're asking me what is the best size 5 torpedo in game. Scimitar. It is powerful and it is fun. Look at what we have achieved in this video. We finished almost every... Well, the last one, I play with fire of course that, that was on me but uh, we can easily destroy that hammerhead and we only supplied four extra scimitars and we finished every single certification from the tracker license all the way to master to vhrt and ert in the shortest amount of time that is amazing and if you haven't checked out my scimitar hammerhead powerful and fun video please do check it out. Scimitar is the best size 5 torpedo in game. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope these two videos are helpful. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.